This is the kind of lesson that few people want to have to teach and fewer want to have to use in real life. It's basic first aid for a community coming to grips with the reality of war. I'm afraid because we are not prepared. I am not a professional soldier, but I understand it is better to meet the enemy being prepared and with the right skills. Dr. Robert Lim is an American war veteran working with the Global Surgical and Medical Support Group. It's bringing medics, doctors and surgeons to Ukraine to train civilians. It seems fun now, but these scenarios may soon become reality. Now you're going to get shot. The civilian training held in a local gym attracts engineers, teachers, dancers, all kinds of professions and age groups, including high school students suddenly forced by the war to put their own plans on hold. I don't understand and know uh, when I will in future study because now it's a uh, hard time and uh, I don't know what can be tomorrow. Lim is teaching people battlefield survival skills, like how to apply a tourniquet or how to keep an injured person breathing. With 23 years of experience as an army surgeon, he is also training doctors to prepare for the type of wounds rarely seen in civilians during peacetime. If you're in New York City or London or another big city, most of the injuries are blunt. So it's a car accident or a fall or something like that. Whereas most of the injuries on the battlefield are going to be penetrating wounds that might injure an artery or a major vessel. All with a small fraction of the resources they're used to. Do what you can with what you've got. In many parts of Ukraine, medical supplies and facilities are getting harder to come by. And in the worst hit areas, many hospitals are now operating in basements with only flashlights to avoid attracting Russian bombs. Dr. Tanya Boychuk is a dermatologist from Western Ukraine one of dozens of medical professionals sharpening their skills for battle. In normal life, dermatologists do not provide first aid, do not stop bleeding, do not do tourniquets and punctures. With her day job on hold, she's planning to join the military. And she won't wait for the fighting to come to her. I plan to go to the war front. My close friends are at war now, and I want to be there too. Scott McLean, CNN, Lviv, Ukraine.